special relativity. Doppler problem for three observers. We assume that observer k prime is moving at speed v prime relative to observer k, and that observer k double prime is moving at speed v double prime relative to observer k. Observer k prime is emitting light waves at period t prime. What is the time period received by observer k double prime? At time ta, a light ray is emitted from k prime at point a. We apply the spacetime transformation at point a, taking into consideration that the emitter is located at x prime a equals a. The frame k prime continues to move at speed v prime until it reaches point b at coordinate x b relative to frame k. Meanwhile, the wave w1 would have have moved away from the source of emission which is point a. At time tb, a light ray is emitted from frame k prime at point b. We apply the spacetime transformation at point b, taking into consideration that the emitter is located at x prime b equals a. We compute the time and space intervals between the two events at point a and b. Since the period of emission in frame k prime is the time interval between two wave emissions, the period can be expressed as t prime equals t prime b minus t prime a. We substitute t prime in the previous space and time intervals to obtain the following two equations. At time tc, a light ray, which has been emitted from point a, is received in frame k double prime at point c. We apply the spacetime transformation at point c, taking into consideration that the receiver is located at x prime c equals b. Since TA is the time of first wave emission, TC is the time the wave has been received at point C relative to observer K, and since the speed of light is constant for K, the distance the light ray traveled relative to K is XA minus XC equals C times TC minus TA. At time TD, a light ray, which has been emitted from point B, is received in frame K double prime at point D. We apply the spacetime transformation at point D, taking into consideration that the receiver is located at x double prime D equals B. Since TB is the time of first wave emission, TD is the time the wave has been received at point D relative to observer K, and since the speed of light is constant for K, the distance the light ray has traveled from point B to point D relative to K is xB minus xD equals C times TD minus TB. We find the space-time intervals separating event C from D. Since the period in frame K double prime is the time interval between the reception of two waves, the period received by observer K double prime can be expressed as T double prime equals T double prime D minus T double prime C. We substitute T double prime in the previous space and time intervals to obtain the following two equations. We end up with the following set of independent equations. We subtract equation 5 from equation 1, and we subtract equation 6 from equation 2. We rearrange equation 7. We substitute equation 3 and equation 4 into equation 9, and multiply equation 10 by C adding the previous equations together. Rearranging, we obtain the equation which connect period t prime with period t double prime, from which we obtain substituting gamma prime and gamma double prime. We obtain the period formula for case 1. The source is moving away from the receiver and the receiver is moving toward the source. The frequencies relative to observer k prime and k double prime are the inverse of the period t prime and t double prime. By substituting the period into the frequency formula, we find the relation between the frequency of the source and the receiver. Notice that if we assume that v double prime equals zero, the period in frame k double prime formula becomes as we have seen before. 
We have four cases as shown here, and we can derive case 2, 3, and 4 from case 1 as we will see. Case 2. The source is moving toward the receiver and the receiver is moving toward the source. In this case, we substitute V prime with negative V prime in case 1 formula. And the frequency relation takes the form. Case 3. The source is moving away from the receiver and the receiver is moving away from the source. In this case we substitute V double prime with negative V double prime in case 1 formula. And the frequency relation takes the form. Case 4. The source is moving toward the receiver and the receiver is moving away from the source. In this case we substitute V prime with negative V prime and V double prime with negative V double prime in case 1 formula. And the frequency relation becomes. We will summarize the four case pictorially. Case 1. The source is moving away from the receiver and the receiver is moving toward the source. Case 2. The source is moving toward the receiver and the receiver is moving toward the source. Case 3. The source is moving away from the receiver and the receiver is moving away from the source. Case 4. The source is moving toward the receiver and the receiver is moving away from the source.